I've been having a ton of fun with all these Risk of Rain 2 modded character videos I've been doing recently, but I think it's about time to go back, to, oh my god, to go back to the basics, the original cast of characters. I suppose this is DLC, so it's not even the original cast, but you know what I'm trying to say, non-modded, because I have the Eclipse grind to start. It's not gonna do it by itself, so I gotta do it now. And, uh, and you guys have been recommending me to start this. I appreciate it, thank you everyone. To be honest with you, I kind of forgot, <laughs> didn't know Eclipse was in the game for the longest time, like hundreds of hours. I didn't even know Eclipse existed because it's hidden behind a sub menu. I feel like it should be one of those things where if you beat Monsoon, it just gives you a notification for Eclipse. Like I was playing Brotato recently, right? And, uh, and there's danger levels in that. I mean, it's pretty much every roguelike has those. Once you beat the game, it'll give you a more difficult version of it. And uh, it's just so natural. After you beat it one time, it's like, oh, do you want to try the game but harder? And you can just jump up to, to danger five, which is the highest level, like right away, I believe. So it's very fun. And now I can't go back. I can't not play danger five on, on Brotato. It feels, uh, it just doesn't feel engaging anymore. And I'm sure that for a lot of experienced Risk of Rain 2 players is the same thing with Eclipse and Monsoon. So I might as well start this now because I feel like it's good. It's gonna be fun. I feel like this is gonna be a great way for me to improve. I am by no means a good Risk of Rain 2 player. So I feel like this is gonna force me to, oh my goodness, for oh, okay. Um, well, first things first, maybe I should hit up aim labs, all right, use code tens. But uh, I forgot what I was saying anyway. Yeah, it'll force me to, to adapt, learn more game sense. Like for example, as you get to higher and higher levels levels of this uh, Eclipse hierarchy, not is it's not gonna just be, oh my God, can I speak? Um, it's not just gonna be, oh, you start with half HP on the level, which is essentially nothing. It doesn't really matter. And then it goes to, oh, if you take fall damage, not only is it doubled, but you die from it. And so you actually have to be careful about your movement or damage is permanent or healing, all healing is halved and everything like that. So it really forces you uh, to become a better player. And I'm, I'm looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to improving and, uh, and taking you guys alongside this journey here with me. As per usual with some of these more laid back casual commentaries, any and all advice is appreciated. Once again, not necessarily a talented gamer out here. So uh, if you got some niche, niche tips and tricks, I was gonna say neat tips and tricks and niche tips and tricks, two words that are too closely related, then, uh, then I will welcome it with open arms. Backseating is welcome, as long as it's, uh, as it's tasteful, read the room. That flick was incredible, as was that timing on the click. Speaking of timing on the click, when Railgunner came out, I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm gonna be upfront with you, I kind of did not like them at all. Now they're one of my favorites. But I think just a new character paired with having to do this active timing every single shot was, it was too much for my update day brain. And I just wanted to get the alternate mouse too where you don't have to reload as fast as I possibly could. Now though, I think all it took was like maybe a day or two games of learning this timing. And now it's just automatic. I mean, I've missed it twice already on stage one, which is, Oh, I offset my momentum there and I would be dead if this was um, higher eclipse. I don't know why I just did that, by the way. I think I, I mashed every key on my keyboard and that ended up happening <laughs> and I could not cancel it. Yeah, I got a bit spooked there, to be honest with you. Maybe I could have done this to cancel momentum. Well, you can see why I'm on eclipse one right now, because <laughs> that's a dead run immediately right off the bat. I also probably should have just held my mouse one. That way I could stop the fall, slow the fall, stop the damage, stop the bleed. Anyway, anyway, let, let, let's tackle this boss. I was saying that I did not like the active input of this mouse one, and uh, and now I am a fan. I really can't go back to the other mouse two. I mean, I can. It's just I feel like this one is so satisfying that, I don't know, it's just fun. Also, I am using a couple quality of life mods. It's not a mod list run. It's a mod unmodded character run, or modless character run, I suppose that would be more proper as to what I was just saying, the grammar of that sentence, the prosody. I don't think that's the right term. But uh, but yeah, quality of, I mean, I'll, t I'll take it over this, I guess. <laughs> sure, that is a strange, is there a no, okay. I, not only have I, have I like never seen this on stage two, I've never seen two on stage two. Okay, all right. I just recorded a rocket jumper video, which I actually think is gonna come out after this. But that video, I had, okay. I had the worst RNG I have ever had in Risk of Rain 2, but it didn't even matter because I was using rocket jumper and marker runner, which is just broken. Every other time I've recorded a video, I didn't miss, your game lagged. I 
I've gotten like crazy RNG, and I think that one just stole all of it. That guy jiggle peeked me, and I lost my um, crowbar. That's fine. I am down to scrap literally everything for a sticky bomb. I love sticky bombs. Um, I think I keep getting distracted from what I'm trying to say, which is basically, if you are new to Railgunner, if you just picked up the game, you just got Survivors of the Void, and you're not a fan of this active clicking, don't you worry. All it takes is, why are there so many 3D printers? A couple games, I gotta keep, stop interrupting myself. I'm sorry, this is just how my brain works. It's just, it's just constant interruptions all the time. I have a laser gun that shoots through people, and I still took like six shots at the guys who lined up in one place. Anyway, it's fun. It's fun and it becomes automatic very, very quickly. You don't really have to have to think about it after a certain point. And it's so satisfying to deal damage with these big shots as opposed to the, the mini ones. They're slightly less, slightly less so. I don't know. I don't know how they code happiness into a video game, uh, but Hopu, Hopu Games did that. Or even more accurately, I should say code happiness into a mouse click. It, like, I don't know. I don't, I, I don't understand. I have never seen that 3D printer that early before. That's just another sticky bomb. I might as well pick it up now. And, uh, and if there's any other whites lying around that I do actually want to keep, I'll just save them until afterwards. I am loving what I'm seeing right now with this, uh, with this, with this run. Not so much with the aim, with the shots. That, I kind of spoke that one into existence. But I think that'll, I think that'll come. That'll fix itself as it happens. Okay. I Oh my <laughs> I have an excuse. I, like I said, I was just playing TF2 Soldier with Rocket Jumper. The mouse movement for that is very different, okay? I am hard coping, just so you know. Just so it's very clear and evident. I, I've never been a great aimer, to be frank with you. I've just... It's never been my, my talent. My skill has always been game sense. <laughs> okay, <laughs> alright. Alright, uh, did, did, I, did I fool anyone for even a second? No. Probably not. I am literally hard stuck a bronze in Valorant, which is also okay. I say hard stuck, but I I play in diamond lobbies with my friends, and and I do fine. I go like even, but then I get into into bronze games, and I um <laughs> I let me tell you, I don't top frag. That's for sure. I don't even I don't even <laughs> I don't even second frag. So I don't know what's going on. I think I'm just terrible uh, at most video games, but. That's why we're here, aren't we? We're here to learn, we're here to have a good time. And I think you're here. Let me pull back the veil, okay? Let me do something that's, should not have picked that up actually. Should not have picked that up. Let me do something that no entertainer should ever do, which is pull you out of the moment, okay? And I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull back the curtain here. We're gonna pull a little bit of the Wizard of Oz maneuver, and I'm gonna tell you why you're here. I'm gonna tell you why you're spending your time watching me. It's because, it's because, it's, 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 I actually, I'm gonna be honest. I didn't think of what I was gonna say until, until, and as I was saying. Okay, it's because when I play and I'm a bad gamer, you can see yourself that you're a better gamer, and by comparison, you are now feeling better about yourself. And if I can service the self-esteem through my in own inadequacy of others when I, and so, and, 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 yeah. So, also, does this, how does this work? How do lens maker glasses work on the railgunner? Cause I know it gives you, yes, I know. Sorry, <laughs> oh my God, it's, 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 it's 3.47 AM. Crit, I was talking about crit, yes. Okay, so I know that crit, you don't gain crit chance on railgunner cause you have guaranteed crit with this when you hit the head hitbox, but it gives you more damage, but it, I don't think it's that much damage, right? Like I don't think lens maker glasses are good on Railgunner. Am I crazy? Am I just totally wrong? Maybe I'm totally wrong. Maybe giving yourself more base damage or something is just broken, but I have never noticed a difference when having high crit or like stacking crit or anything like that. And it could just be because you're kind of just one-shotting everything anyway. Maybe that's the reason, but I don't know. I don't know how much damage it gives you. My thought process is if it's 10% crit chance, maybe it gives you 10% more damage, but if it's 10% more damage, then that's halved anyway, because crit is double damage. So is it just bad? I don't know, please let me know. Anyway, let's do some, let's do some pot rolling here. How does, how, how do the physics of this work? I don't, <laughs> why am I, I am, I'm pot friend. Okay, uh, is that on? Oh, that is on. All right, and the other one I think is over here. I don't wanna, <laughs> I don't wanna accidentally use this too close and then completely ruin that. Where is the other, I think it's, I think I passed by it. It's on, it's on this end, isn't it? Even if I waste a load of time here, it's totally fine. Because getting the bands on Railgunner is just... It's just broken. It's just crazy. There it is. All right. I'll just skip ahead. We don't got to waste time here. 
You know what I'm about to do. I actually just realized, ooh, I could get this before I leave. Uh, that you may not know what I'm gonna do, because I think a lot of people that watch this channel might not even have Risk of Rain 2. It might be new to Risk of Rain 2 because you know, maybe you're coming from Brawlhalla, or maybe you just haven't played for a while. Uh, but if you hit two of those hidden levers on the map at the same time, you can put a pot on there to keep it in place. You unlock this little hidden gate area, and there's gonna be two big baddies that you gotta kill. And I think I'm gonna aim for this one first because it's gonna freeze the whole area. And these give you the bands, which are incredibly powerful. Wow, I do a lot of damage. I guess that's uh, it's this at start. Um, and, and these are super, super good because they deal a bajillion damage when you have a high damaging move. And I exclusively have high damaging moves. So it's gonna be super useful on me. They didn't give me any gold. Okay, well, maybe I can grab that on the way out. Uh, more things that I learned about Risk Rain 2. Those, those enemies. Kiaro and Runald don't give you any uh, any gold when you kill them, or maybe it's only after the map is over. I'm presuming that it's not, because if you kill normal monsters after the the stages or after the teleport, I should say, is over, then they don't give you gold anyway, or they do give you gold. So the fact that these didn't make me think that in everyday normal gameplay, it's not gonna be the case. But let's move on now to stage three. 16 minutes in, 19 items in. Uh, I don't know if that's the greatest but you know i'm railgunner i deal a billion damage it should be fine and i got sticky bombs for days soldier syringe not really going to be helpful at all all that's going to do is make the timing for this easier but it's still going to be the same timing anyway because the the bar just gets bigger but i think it's still the same click so it's not really going to affect me let's uh let, let's find something good let's find a good equipment i would oh that is a well time to, uh, that is a well hey ah, i'm getting i'm getting juked i'm getting juked i'm gonna let me run where is he doing <laughs> Did, did I still miss? Oh my god, I, how many- Okay, that's deserved. <laughs> I am in trouble. Maybe spawning with half HP is bad, because I can't hit a singular imp. I cannot. Alright, that guy's dead. I don't know what it is, sometimes I feel like I can hit really wild, crazy flicks with strange amounts of consistency, but then I miss the easiest shots on, like, targets that are standing still. You know what it is? It's TF2 Sniper Syndrome. That's actually what it is. TF2 Sniper Syndrome is where you can hit the craziest flick on a spy that, that's trying to revolver you, or a, or a scout that's trying to flank you, and then you miss a heavy. It doesn't make any sense, but that's just, that's just how it goes. I think the problem is that um, I have to tamper down my real life anxiety. And do you think I can hit this? Do you think I can hit these guys? I, it was close though. It was, it was close. I had, it. I, I almost just picked that up. I think if I picked that up, I would have alt f on the spot. I, <laughs> I do not like the singularity band at all. I think in concept, it's really cool. I think it would be cooler if the gravitational pull was smaller, but the cooldown was halved because it combines your two bands and it doubles the cooldown. Shouldn't it like have the cooldown? I feel like that would make more sense. I don't know. I, I never take singularity ban. It is not my item of choice, but who knows? Who knows? Maybe there'll be a, be a build where I'm like, oh, let me try it out. And I end up loving it. That's honestly what happens with a lot of items in the game that I, um, I <laughs> I'm gonna cry. I think that I don't like it, and then I have one good run where I'm like, oh, this is actually kind of cool, and then I end up loving it, so I don't know. I don't know. Maybe- Where is this thing? I ran into mouse pad space. Did you hear that? I just hit my keyboard. <laughs> uh, yeah, maybe I just need one good run with a singularity ban. A gravitational pull run. I still can't believe I got the molten perforator printer <laughs> on stage two. What is that? I don't understand. Uh, okay, hello, hello, big men. Hello, little boys. Did not expect to see you there. I was wiping my nose because I had, um, it was warning shots. I wanted him to be afraid of that one right there. Have you ever seen John Wick 1? I was pulling a bit of a Willem Dafoe, okay? Let's, let's move on. Speaking of, it's very interesting, the level of wide stream. If I have this, well, I would like safer spaces later, so might as well. Um, the how 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 big John Wick has gotten because I remember watching John Wick 1 and the budget of it was so low and it felt like this cult movie I don't know maybe I'm crazy maybe people like always knew about John Wick but I feel like it was Fortnite <laughs> that made John Wick popular am I crazy is that is that a crazy statement to make I feel like the term John Wick was honestly kind of neat speaking of it was like it was a kind of niche movie 
and then uh and, and then it be the, like the fortnite scene came out and so it became like popular vernacular and then everyone knew what john wick was and because of that it had word of mouth marketing and then people realized that the movies are actually insanely good and then they got better every single time and then the fourth one is like a perfect finale for the series and if you haven't watched any of them before then it's worth watching because it's made by like stuntmen and so they have a good appeal leet for action i am so <laughs> i am so sorry why did i do that why did I just do that? What year is it? How old am I? I am so sorry. I don't know how many times I've said I'm sorry today, but it's not enough. And I would like this boss to be an intense and difficult one so that I can focus on talking about that and not on my own head. That would be fantastic. Oh, this is gonna be actually a great target for my molten perforator. Oh, targets, excuse me. I didn't realize there were two of you. Uh, I did a lot of damage there, but I can't. I'm a little bit terrified. I actually, what am I? Why did I not shoot this guy? Be what just happened? Uh, what just happened? Was that a sticky bomb? Was that some kind of crazy molten perforator chaining? It wasn't the bands because they just came off cooldown or maybe it was and I, I was just frozen in place. Okay. Okay. This is a run. This is this this is a run. I mean, what can I say? What can I say? Every time I record a video, I feel like with that one exception, I am not a fan of Thunder Grove. Although, sight lines, there are quite quite a big quite a quite a bit of big sight lines here. So, I can utilize that mayhaps and get this void reaver to I can't well, my sensitivity maybe is too high. I can't do those minutia movements. But then I also can't flick if I play TF2 Soldier. Such is the such is the struggle in the um in, in the sensitivity departments. I feel like I want to have the same one across every game because well clearly <laughs> I need all the help I can get. Don't want to be constantly changing it. But uh but I feel like game to game the it, it matters. Different things matter. You know what I'm saying? Like in TF2. Flicking. Flicking is pretty big. But in games like Valorant, I just stood still for the longest time. I could not figure out how to line that up. I was scared. Um, and then in other games, you want smaller aiming because it's less about big flicks all across the map. It's more about you know, taking your taking your time and small movements for a small head hitbox and everything like that. But who knows? Who knows what's optimal? Not me. Where did you come from? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, I kind of goofed that one. I left that one alive. What is the cost of this of, of this uh, red chest that I'm certainly going to get and not forget about? It's probably something along the lines of like, I don't know, 30, 3,800 is my guess. I guess you could actually just calculate it by doing multiplying the... Uh, oh, so guys are actually kind of terrifying. Multiplying the small chest by whatever whatever it is, but I am not the best at math, and I think I'm also not the best at on the fly thinking. So, where is, where, where is, where? <laughs> no, I'm gonna hit this thing. I'm gonna, it died. Um, wait, no, it didn't. Where is, where is little bro? I just killed something by accident. Uh, speaking of tier two syndrome, that's like shooting an invisible spy. All right, well, it died anyway, so. I don't think I have to worry about that. These guys are diving me like crazy. Get out of my face, please. I would like to retain my safer spaces. Please, I'm just gonna do it so that I can do that. And then you guys can turn into elites. That's fine with me. Is that useless? That's useless, right? I don't want that. I don't want that. I want to, I kind of want to just scrap my lens makers, to be honest with you. First time I've said that sentence. I don't know. I would I would like to see a scrapper. I would like to see the big chest. These guffs are actually giving me infinite money, infinite money glitch. Get away from me! Needle tick. Also, I don't think that's gonna be all too helpful, but it's better than bleed, I guess. So might as well take it. Give me a recycle. Give me any equipment. I can't believe I haven't had any equipment at all. That's crazy. Maybe I just haven't searched long and far enough. My graphic settings are not high enough. Oh my god. I, how, I can't hit these guys. They're too hard. They're too hard. I, it's, it's, I can't hit them yet. Growth mindset, all right? Marshmallow task. Do you guys know about that? Like the marshmallow task? It's like this thing that was like, oh, kids that are able to delay their response 
will have better outcomes. And the whole test was you give kids a marshmallow, like right in front of them, and you say, you can either eat this now, or if you wait 10 minutes or however long, you'll get two. And the kids that could wait had much better outcomes on like test performance, SAT scores, colleges, jobs, all that kind of stuff. But what people don't talk about, how did you get here? I don't know. Um, is the, the actual biggest factor in that was more so <laughs> like their family background and way more to do with that than than the other stuff and like they controlled for for like socioeconomic status and all that but it was like the the type of uh parenting they were raised with in terms of oh will they have an understanding and do they have the trust in their environment that what people tell them is reliable that was like the biggest factor honestly chrono ball was pretty good here if i could get like a tenth of bobble freeze mythrix i guess i can actually freeze him with this um was was a much bigger factor but nobody talks about that one they just say oh if you teach your kids to be patient they'll have better outcomes which is also probably true to some extent i mean there's there's some there's some good juice with that maybe my graphic settings are high enough maybe i turned them up when i started making videos i think i did 4200 i have enough please be a recycler in that thing so um i mean it's not bad it's actually not bad at all, because this has a cooldown, and the other thing has a cooldown. More safer spaces. This thing has a cooldown, too. Honestly, Alien has not bad. Um, but yeah, the whole thing was like, oh, are the kids raised in, env in an environment where they can trust um, that future things will be good? Or are they raised in an environment where they need to make the most of the present because the future is very uncertain and unknown? That was a much um, more reliable predictor. Is that a Hobu Feather? All right, let me get this equipment barrel. Where was this equipment barrel first off? I s there it is. I saw it. I, I knew I saw it. I didn't imagine things. It wasn't in my dream. I sometimes have these moments where I think things are real and then, or like events happen. And then it turns out that I just dreamed it. And then sometimes I have difficulty uh, parsing whether it's dream or reality, which I think is unfortunately the reality of people with uh, reality shifting, how many times am I going to say that word? Shifting like disorders like schizophrenia, I think that makes it hard to distinguish. But then it also makes you think, if we think our dreams are the real world when we're in our dreams, then how do we know when we're awake when we're awake? And this is not my way of saying we're all in the matrix, but it's just interesting to think about the nature of consciousness and like, how do we know what is real? What is real is only our perception of what is real in the moment. And I could be dreaming and think that it's real, and so experiences that I have in the dream are technically just as real. And the sensory experiences that we have are not based on an absolute reality. There's no way, right? Am I hacking? Um, I forgot what I was saying. <laughs> I, got I got lost in the sauce, I think a little bit. My bad guys, my bad. Basically, our, uh, there is no like objective reality to the world because our brain, the way that we process sensory information is all constructed. Like we don't see what's real. Everything is just a light wave that we interpret, like color, for example, there's no real color, but then it's the same thing for everything, touch uh, and, and taste and, and all of that is constructed. And if our brain is constructing those things, then can't we induce that in a dream setting? What is then the future of things like virtual reality? I don't know. Also, please give me a boss item. I missed. I have a Hopi Feather now, I forgot. I would love, I would love a Wandering Vagrant to give me, um, what is it called? Genesis Loop, what a cool name for an item. The, I, what is the biggest de discrepancy in Risk of Rain 2 between coolness of the item name? I didn't, I didn't hit a Shrine of the Mountain when I was probably not gonna get it at all. I don't know why I thought I was. What is the biggest discrepancy between the coolness of an item name and its utility? I feel like Genesis Loop has gotta like top the list, or at least get close to it. Um, that's crazy that I had a Molten Perforator printer and a Charge Perforator printer, and I could theoretically right now have like six Charge Perforators. Oh well, didn't get a gun, did not get a, um, a Shrine of the Mountain, that's okay. I don't think I've ever not hit a Shrine of the Mountain. I think I've consistently- wait, I missed that guy. Why are there- why is their movement so weird and jerky? I can't- wait. <laughs> That? Did you see that? That guy just like counter strafed me. That was crazy. Um, I don't know if there's any other chest for me to get. I mean, there probably is. There's a whole underbelly to this society that we live in. That's deep. I didn't. I don't even. 
Do I believe that? Maybe. <sighs> Who knows what I'm saying right now. I feel like I'm at... Oh well. Uh, I'm happy to get it now because there's a lot of these 3D printers on the next- Wait, there's two?! 42? I'm short. I'm short by, by 21 gold. There's gotta be an enemy. Please tell me there's an enemy. How did I not see this? How did- how did I- how did I miss this? Oh, <gasps> there are. Gups. My saviors. Alright, please be big. Did I even pick up the alien head? I didn't. That's crit. Alright, well, I got brain stalks and I got an alien head. And there's a scrapper. That's- that's insane. Alright, well, you lasted a short period of time. I don't think I need you either. I want to get rid of this. What else am I getting rid of? Let me get rid of this. Uh, it's not higher eclipse, so I don't think I need it right now. Let me get rid of this. 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 Let me get rid of med kit. I honestly probably need, and I'm good with everything else. I'm good with this lean, clean killing machine that I've got right now, and I will keep the alien head happily. And it's really good that I decided to keep looking for items because I would have forgotten this was here. Okay. Anyway, I was saying I feel like I'm eking on the territory of like weirdo conspiracy stuff, but that is um that is not where I lie. I think I'm just I'm just saying the first things that pop into my head. And if you read online about like crazy people, it's just going to pop into your head. And by crazy people, I mean like phase on. This is actually a really good run, all things considered. How did that just double? A gut must have died. Uh, the aim has not necessarily been there, but the items certainly have, and so I could be happy. That guy just flopped, looking like LeBron out here. And, uh, okay, I, if I missed that shot, I was gonna say I'm looking like Jordan Poole out here. But you know what's crazy? Is I don't watch basketball. I've just heard that Jordan Poole is not the greatest of gamers out on the court currently. Oh man, I am losing money. Alright, there we go. No, no flame, no hate, I'm sorry. I feel like I should not be a source of negativity in the world, there's enough of that already. I was- it was in jest. Jordan, I apologize. I'm sure you're doing your best. And to get to that level is quite impressive. Not that he would ever watch this in his life, because I don't even know who he is. But, you know, just gotta cover my bases here. I would hate to make people feel bad when watching my videos. Because as previously- pre <laughs> previously established, the whole point is that you can look at you and then look at me and then you see you in me and then you see me in you and you realize, hey, maybe I'm not so bad, okay? All right, we got that established. We got that out of the way. We got the Z construct defeated. Now let's get these void monsters cleared so I can actually peruse the map as intended. They're fighting other monsters. Let me see if I can get this snipe here. I probably should have waited, but that's all right. It's just gonna die anyway. That freeze is kind of crazy. I cannot see these guys for the life of me. Flux, please. Oh, all right, all right, all right. Shot on the mountain. I got you. You know I gotta do it. You know I gotta do it. I will hit it. Every Is that another sticky bomb printer? No, it wasn't. I got so happy for a second. I actually got so happy for a second. It is crazy that it is crazy that I never noticed how big of a gunch gamer neck that Elder Lemurians have until it was just highlighted with, <laughs> with that big reticle. Damn, I'm sorry guys. I, I didn't mean to point it out actually. I feel I feel bad about that. First pool, now Lemurian. I'm not I'm not I don't have a great track record right now. I have enough money to change the world. But not enough enemies to find to be able to get these void crates. But you see what I'm saying? Like look at this. Looking like a me out here. My posture actually needs a lot of work. Look at that! You saw it, you saw it there. I'm not crazy. Did I hit that? Did I hit that? Did I hit that? Did I hit that? I think I did. Nice! Okay. Um, yeah. Oh, these count as void enemies, right? All right, I don't gotta kill that one. They're gonna kill that one. There's two down. Where are the rest? How many does it have to be until there's the pointer indicator? Is this one a void enemy? I don't think so. I don't think so. No, it's not. Normal one. Where are the purple guys? I don't care about you. Give me, give me the little mini men that deal collapse damage. Like you, like you, for example. I feel like I have not been playing very well at all, and yet I am just kind of crushing. That's just the power of Railgunner, I feel like. You don't- yeah, I don't, know, I don't know if I need to be that good, to be honest with you. As long as I don't miss every shot, I'm okay. I just gotta hit a few. Just gotta get a hit- gotta, gotta, gotta hit a few. Need my, uh, percentage to be decent at the very least. And then we're in the clear, and also there's, like, the stun every time you hit these guys. A little mini stagger. So where- where- where am I being pointed to? There! Okay, and then there's one right here. Sorry, I, there's arrows on my screen, I got distracted. You know how it goes. 
Ooh, eccentric vase. Okay. Um, I beef that. Don't mind if I do. Save that for the final level. And then there's two void seeds actually. Interesting. All right, let's uh, let, let's 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 grab this potential. What is this one called? Oh, this one's also called void potential. Give me something good. Give me something I want to see. Give me, give me a, give me a, give me a, give me a, um, give me a uke. Um, I'm happy with that. Normally I'd take the red whip there, but I was just talking about sticky bombs, so cannot complain. Also, is that worth it? I have two already. I don't think it's worth it. I don't think it's worth it because it's only one shot, right? Though I guess if I can kill Mythrix in like one shot, it's, it's kind of worth it. But I want to see what greens I could get. I'm greedy. I'm greedy. Maybe. I'll think about it and then I'll make my decision. Let me grab this. Where's the teleporter, by the way? Did I already pass it? Maybe I did. I was too focused on the void potentials. Oh, there's a guy up there. I didn't even see you. I didn't even see you. All right. Um, Bungus. If I get a Wungus. That could be nice. How's my healing looking? Not great, right? Not... I don't think I have any... I just have a med kit. Well, okay! I promise this is not spliced, okay? This is a, this is a live commentary. This is a live commentary. This is a live commentary. This is, this is, this is, this is, this is, this is, this is... This. Sorry, something glitched there. Ooh, forgot I had this. How many keys do I have? Um... Where am I blind? I... Oh, I only had one! Whoops, <laughs> I probably, I should have waited and, and picked up a key. I thought I had two there. I will take a Void Scent Flame. All right, that's more initial damage. Is there a second? Why are there so many printers on this run? Doesn't that mean I get less items though? It does mean I get less items. That's unfortunate. But I mean, the printers have been very great to me. So I can't, I can't be upset about that. I have not opened this chest, have I? I don't think so. Cause this was the whole area I didn't want to peruse because of the void. I also forgot I had a Hopu Feather this whole time because the void void stuff there. That is, does this help with Kiara's band damage? I don't think so. I think it's gas damage. I'll grab this, I'll grab this chest here and then I think I'm good for this level with the exception of that little, uh, that, that little eccentric vase I want to pick up. And w were there like no uh, multi shops? I don't, I don't recall seeing any other than the equipment one. And literally never punished. That's great. No, that's fantastic. That is, uh, I'm pumped to see that. All right, PSG personal shield generator. There's one more chest right here actually that I also missed. No wonder I don't have that many items. I am blind as a bat. Fun fact, vampire bats do not exhibit um, forms of taste aversion learning. You know how if you eat a bad burrito and you've eaten at this burrito place every day for the past six months, you eat a bad burrito one time that gives you a tummy ache and then you never want to eat there again. That's taste aversion. It's only one time and it's enough for you to be like, oh, I never want to eat here again. It's very evolutionary. I can't say that word. Evolutionarily. There we go. Advantageous because if, if it's like poison, one time is enough to make a mistake. So you don't want to make that one time mistake. Did I really miss the crit? I think I did. Um, but vampire bats only eat one thing, which is blood. And so they don't have any need to develop taste aversion because they only eat one thing. They're never going to experiment with new foods. Fun fact. There you go. Use that one in your parties. Okay. Tell them that I sent you and then, <laughs> and then, <laughs> and then please tell them to keep watching. I need this kind of guerrilla marketing. All right. The subs are, they're not going to build themselves. All right. I got to be the one to what? No, you got to be the one to do it. I also said, all right, three times there. I got a little bit nervous. I wasn't so confident in what I was saying. Pulling back the veneer once again. I got a big old shot here. I'm not even gonna scope in. There we go, that's some damage. Doesn't this shield block projectiles? It's crazy that I'm able to shoot through it. Maybe this is not a projectile, it's a hit scan. Maybe that's fine, I don't know. There, there's another one, I didn't even notice. There's so many enemies, why is that? Oh, I hit a shrine in the mountain. Kind of forgot about that. Well, it's dead now. What's it gonna give me? That's crazy. Nah. No, nah, that's crazy. One level ago, I've never seen that. I've actually, I'm not even joking. I've never seen this before. I've never seen a teleporter with two yellow items. I've seen a yellow and a green. I've seen a yellow by itself. I've never seen two yellows. I don't even know what those do. It's like, it summons a, if you kill an elite, I think it summons a little mini guy. I don't think it's any good. I would love two more charge perforators, to be frank, to be Jim with you. 
That's okay. Let me get this. Let me get this base. I could get more safer spaces. That is also a potential option that I could do. But I think I'm going to run with this. Ooh, wait a second. I could summon drones with this guy. I don't I, I didn't need to swap that. I can summon drones with this guy. Okay. Equipment drone. Yes, sir. Then I could teleport with this guy. And then I could um, have one extra usage of an equipment. All right. I'm liking that plan. Let's fight the big baddie. And, uh, and, and let's have ourselves a ball. Shall we? Two defense nucleuses that will be completely useless against Mithrix. But I uh, might as well take them alongside the ride here with me. Because why not? Because why not? I'll welcome some new friends. And might as well just use this teleport early because... Alright, let me do that. Because I'm going to have to wait for the cooldown anyway because I want to check out the pools. I have some things to get rid of here. Oh, I forgot there's also the, the little thing to look for. The little chest, the void chest. Maybe I'll... And it's right there. Alright, I don't have to do much looking. Wait, <laughs> I want to shoot this way. Not That's the wrong way. That's going to that's gonna make me like hit the skybox. Hopefully I don't take too much fall damage here. Uh, by accidentally. What is this? Hard light afterburner. Interesting. What is this? Isn't that good on me? That's good on me, right? Isn't this item like made for me? Probably. I'm going to lose a green though. Can I afford to lose? Resonance is not going to be super helpful. Why are there so many reds? Is there is there any white printer? Please be a white printer. There is. That is great. All right. All right. Okay. I mean, okay. If I lose one band, it's not good. If I lose ATG, it's not good. If I lose one feather, that's fine. It's going to kill me. Maybe. Wungus. What I see? Lysate cell? Lysate cell is probably better. I mean, let me take Lysite Cell. That way I have two of these um, big moves. Um, I think I'm going to do it. I, I'm, I'm just... I want to gamble. <laughs> I just want to gamble. I don't know how much it's going to help me. I don't know if it's worth it. I don't even notice this here. But I, I'm, in, I'm in a mood to gamble. Ignition Tank! <sighs> that was big. That was actually huge. Um, Lepton Daisy. Any green? Any, any good green? I guess I'm taking the Rose Buckler. I don't think there's anything else. Uh, might as well. And I get two Rose Bucklers out of it. That's not too bad. I probably should have done this first, actually, now that I think about it. I definitely should have done this first. Can I see here? All right, there we go. Had to find the angle because you can't really look super up super easily. Honestly, I, I probably could have made it all the way up there with this loadout, couldn't I have? Because I have two of these to give me a big boost, maybe? I don't know. I don't know. It's quite weird. But here we go. Here we go. Time to fight the big boss man. Maybe if I charge this early, I can hit him right away on cooldown. I don't know. Let's see. Maybe maybe I didn't time that right, but hopefully it canceled. <laughs> okay, it didn't even work. Uh, and then my brain broke. My brain froze, and I should have just frozen him in place. Speaking of frozen him in place, let me do that right now. A bit of a... Okay, that didn't work. Oh, he is kind of a scary guy. Sometimes if you try to click slightly too early, it gets all messed up, you know? I don't know if this crit damage is really helping, but I think the Chrono Bobble is, that's for sure. I'm gonna jump up here, hit this guy, and I keep not timing my bands. Um, I keep forgetting that even happened. I think I had already accepted that they were gonna be scrapped, or that one of them was gonna be scrapped, and I ignored it in my mind. But there we go, finally got it there. And that freeze damage is actually crazy. Wait, he dies so early, look at that! Look at how much HP you need, that's insane. I. I I'm kind of, I'm kind of trolling a little bit. What am I doing here? I don't know. Um, but if I do this like insta scope after shooting, I'm it's pretty sure it's faster. It seems like it's faster, so I'm gonna keep doing it. And I missed. I guess it's not faster if you miss. And you actually gotta line up your shots. It's better than trying to do it too quick and missing everything. But he's dead. He's dead. I don't even, I don't even have to use this, but I will. But I will. <gasps> oh, I got juked. Okay, that's unfortunate. 360, 720. <laughs> I don't want to be around anymore. <laughs> I just I just don't want to be around anymore, I think. Please die. He didn't even die? Does he have armor? I guess he, he gets armor there. Okay. Okay. Where are the enemies? Those are my friends. Those are my friends. I mistook them for villains. Um, but they're taking a lot of the aggro here, which is actually quite nice. Because I don't have the most amount of healing as previously established. It'd be great if they take the full brunt of these enemy forces. This guy, I was gonna say cannot hit me for the life of me, but then those shots curve. 
curving the bullets like James McAvoy and Wanted. Just flicking your risk around. Risk around? Sorry, risk around just on my mind at all times, it appears. Where are you? There you are. Should have waited for the armor, right? He has armor? Probably has armor. <gasps> no way. No way, I got excited. I got too excited. All right, well, I can charge it up again. I have I have utility here. Usages of these Lysate cells, which makes me happy. And it comes back so fast. It's because of this alien head. I forgot about that. Yes, happy, happy. Happy me, happy. Oh, by the way, did you guys see I changed the um, the color palette of the channel? I made it blue now, that way. Wait. Oh, he can't hit me. Oh, what is bro doing? Ah, what am I doing? And I, I miss out on the bonus, bonus damage. Wow, I am like really terrible, aren't I? Well, we can only go up from here, right? This is what this is for. Living and learning. And oh, it was the same thing. I couldn't click it. I couldn't click it. I got frozen. I got frozen. I got locked out. Where is he? There you are. How are you not dead? Oh, I guess the free shot doesn't do the early kill. And he's going to take my items. That's fine. I'm a long range psycho. But what if I do this? Okay. Wait, check this out. Check this out. Quantum tunnel here. He's taking my items. I go quantum tunnel up. I'm... Um... This is fine. Where... Where did I go? He's gonna have safer spaces! It was useless anyway, it didn't matter. I can't hit this head. He's also gunching. Is every enemy a gamer? Interesting. Well, that was easy. Probably the easiest character to do that final phase, at least for me. <laughs> I, I could just hide. <laughs> That's what I'm good at. All right, well, that was Eclipse 1 with, 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 with Whale Gunna. And um, it is 4.27 a.m. now. So that explains a lot about why the commentary was the way it was. I hope you enjoyed. Actually, you know what? No, let's do, let's do Shrine of Order. Can I? Boom. Is that the right island? I don't think it is. It's the one to the right, right? It's one to the right. Let's see. Was I correct? It is multiple to the right. That's okay. I didn't have more jumps. I thought I, I thought I would have more jumps, and I thought I'd have another vase, and neither of those were true. Why I thought I'd have another vase, I don't know. I have Lysate cells. I made such a big deal about it, and where am I? Um, sorry. I think it's safe to assume that I got quite a ways to go before Eclipse 8, but I think it's neat to see at least where the journey starts, you know what I'm saying? And let's see what happens here. What am I going to get? 28 sticky bombs with 140% chance. Two of these alien heads. Oh, these are fast. These are fast, little guy. <gasps> Please! Wait, what? Why did my Q not work before? But then it worked then and now it just got used. Okay. 